25 days ago at Anfield, these two scrapped it out in the Premier League. It was a canter for Liverpool. This Carabao Cup final is expected to be anything but. But they stick to the side that came within seven minutes of winning at Manchester City last weekend. Thiago Silva hasn't recovered from injury. Robert Sanchez is fit again, but doesn't displace the former New England Revolution goalkeeper, Georgi Petrovic. Well, the shape of the team depends on where Jackson starts. If he plays through the middle, Palmer will go wider. If he plays that little bit wider, Palmer will play as the main striker. Gallagher will play as the most advanced midfield player, with Caicedo and Fernandez playing slightly deeper. Liverpool have 11 players missing through injury, most notably Salah, Nunez, Alexander-Arnold, Jota and Soboslai. Two changes to the team that beat Luton in the week, Canate and Robertson for Kwanzaa and Gomez. Well, Elliot will play on the right-hand side with Diaz coming in from the left with Gakpo leading the line. Endo will sit in front of the centre-backs, allow McAllister and Gravenberg to join in with the front players. Canate for Bradley, and Bradley profits and tries to tee up Diaz. Luis Diaz, Gravenberg. Diaz crowded out. And lucky to get it back. And he doesn't make the most of it. Endo. McAllister. Well, it's a really good battle in that midfield area. Endo looks as though he's going to lose it there, but he wins the challenge. And this time it's Cole who just backs off and backs off, and he allows McAllister just to put some whip on that. Tries to cut across it. Gallagher. It's going to come for Sterling. And Palmer! Somehow it was kept out by Quivine Kelleher. The best moment that Chelsea have managed to create so far. What a save. Brilliant from Kelleher. Palmer involved, then the ball switched out wide. Gallagher makes the run. They've got a three versus two. Sterling's first touch wasn't a good one. But when it falls to the next player coming in. Got a score here. A very good save from Keller. Three days on, Saturday 25th of May, the FA Cup final here. Which he hopes will be his farewell game. Here's Jackson for Chelsea. Sterling arrives, Sterling scores! But the flag goes up and his joy is quickly cut short. Well, we're almost in line with it, and it did look offside when the ball was played. Not Sterling, but Jackson just made his run a fraction too early. It's a tight one. It's good play by Chelsea. They play around the initial pressure, and there's the run. We're not quite on the right angle with those pitches, but that looks tight to me. And he makes the right decision once he gets there, Jackson, to play it across. Inch perfect. Sterling gets away from Gomez. But this is a tight call, really tight call. Look at the left leg of Canate. Is that playing Jackson onside? Well, VAR is already saying this may take a while, he's going to have to draw lines on it. VAR is John Brooks today. And when they say they're going to have to draw lines, it means it is particularly tight. It's the knee of Jackson, maybe his shoulder. Up against the foot of Canate. Big call here. In these last few minutes, the balance of the game has tilted somewhat towards Chelsea. Have carried a threat. Liverpool have obviously lost an important player. And this would confirm that tilt if this goal is given. 
No, it is offside. The red line tells you as much. Not by much. Not by much at all. It's actually the Liverpool substitutes bench. Here's Diaz. Now McAllister. Robertson. And the header against the post from Cody Gakpo. Narrow squeak this time for Chelsea. So one side has hit the post, the other has seen a, a goal ruled out for a marginal offside. Chelsea once again, Di Sassi doesn't do well with the ball. This is when Liverpool have been at their most dangerous, when Chelsea have given it away. Good combination down this left-hand side. Excellent cross from Robertson, and there's the header, does everything right. McAllister, Diaz. Liverpool have shaken themselves down and are carrying a bit of a punch again. I think Diaz has looked their most threatening player from this left-hand side. He's made one or two good runs. He's cut in field on his right foot and picked out passes. Yeah, that one... Looked as though it was a good pass, he couldn't get the shot in, there was too many players in the way. And then you see Colwell, very pleased with himself, getting the block in. And Dudley gets it out of his feet, goes for the side foot. Ups down the Liverpool supporters. It's red noise at the moment, it's Robertson and Van Dijk! The captain does it for Liverpool. And if, as is widely suggested, Klopp's farewell will also be Van Dijk's goodbye, then what a way to start it off. With the most resounding of headers. Well, I think they caught Chelsea out here. They were probably thinking someone was going to run over the ball, but Robertson took it quite quickly and just whipped it into a good area. Here it is. And he attacks the ball. He's up against Chewell, I think. And that's a mismatch. Van Dijk is a good header of the ball. Chewell's trying to grab hold of his shirt. Why he's marking it, I'm not quite sure. But it's a brilliant header, back across the goalkeeper. No chance for Petrovic. But what a good delivery it is from Robertson. That's a, the perfect header. Absolutely no chance for the goalkeeper. Could have been an offside on the play. Well, I don't think it would be Van Dijk who's offside. Was there a block? That's what they could be looking for as well. Look at Endo's block. And that's maybe why Chewell is having to come across. They're checking for offside. So it says, but look at the block by Endo. And then you can see Van Dijk holding the shirt. Well, this is not the most straightforward of potential offsides, but it's enough for Chris Kavanagh to be invited to go and take a closer look. And the VAR John Brooks is going to talk him through this. And it is Endo that they're looking at. Number three. There's Endo, as you said, in an offside position, and then he stands in the way of the player that was marking Van Dijk. And it's Van Dijk's header, but that's what they're looking at. There's every possibility here, the referee may change his mind. I'm suggesting that Endo's presence prevented Colwell from being able to challenge Van Dijk for the ball more meaningfully. And I asked the question, why is Chewell marking Van Dijk? It's because he had to come across, because Endo had blocked off Colwell, who needs to be a lot stronger than that. Van Dijk had already got a run on him. But Endo was in an offside position. It's disallowed. 
Yes. And still. Cody Gakpo. Well, there's no doubt about it. Diaz has been the most dangerous player for Liverpool. Does really well just to wriggle away from a couple of challenges, then goes past the next one. Sets up Gakpo. Gusto. Palmer. Caicedo. Cole Palmer. And it's Gallagher! Inside of the upright and out again. Well, what a chance. He can't believe he's missed there. Cole Palmer picks out the right pass, just passes it really firmly, and he tries to flick it into the far corner. Jackson to Fernandez. And it's Palmer. And Gallagher's made a run here, and Gallagher's been found. And Kelleher got off his line rapidly and effectively. Fernandez, Jackson, in on goal, Canate back to confront, holds him up, there's Gallagher! Could have scored three times now. Well, I'm not sure what Van Dijk was doing, he allowed Jackson to run in behind him, Canate does well to get himself back into a good position, hold up Jackson, his layoff is fairly good. Extra half hour looming. Not there yet. This is Caicedo. It's Cole Palmer. Now it's on Kunku. And Palmer on the follow up. And then it's Gusto. And it's on Kunku again. And Kelleher thwarts the lot of them. And then Liverpool distribute the ball out too quickly, really, in haste. And Chelsea come up field again and win a corner. Well, there was several chances in amongst all that. And Kunku does well here. Great block from Canate. Couple of other chances. Chilwell. Elliot. Van Dijk is ready to attack that and does. And the header came from Dans. Well, what a moment that would have been for the gangster. Good switch of play. That's the last bit of headed action we see. May not have gone underneath the crossbar, but Van Dyke did really well at the far post. Just didn't really want to head it. Could he have kept it down? Simicas. Diaz. Harvey Elliott! What a chance for Harvey Elliott. Could he have gone with the inside of his boot? Diaz with the pass, the timing of the run is good. Tries to go with his laces. I think if he goes with the inside of his foot, he passes it into that far corner. Good headers of the ball to be determined enough to get the better of the defender. Of course, we're talking about Van Dijk. Quanta, maybe. Dans. Massed ranks of the cop on tour behind this goal. Simicas. Great header! This time, this time, it's going to count. And Virgil van Dijk has just stooped and in all probability won the Carabao Cup for Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool. Yes. Well, when the foot boys first played, it didn't look as though it had enough on it from Simicas. But watch the movement from Virgil van Dijk. And he gets across the player at the near post. Not great defending, it has to be said. You've got to defend for your life this stage of the game. And the player that wanted it most was Virgil van Dijk. Timing of the run, determination, quality of the header. And that's probably won the Carabao Cup for Liverpool and their manager. And Chris Kavanagh has the whistle at his lips.
The ribbons on the Carabao Cup are red, and Jurgen Klopp takes a giant stride towards his golden sunset.